Okay, so today I want to share with you some information, some professional information regarding anxiety so that you get a deeper understanding of how anxiety can be triggered from different emotions that we feel inside the body. Now, anxiety is and can be experienced very, very differently from person to person. The way that I've experienced anxiety will be similar in some ways to the way that you may have experienced anxiety. However, there can be a lot of differences in how a person experiences and feels their anxiety. And that can be different in the level that it's experienced. So some people can have mild anxiety, which leaves them having a particular result. Some other people can have extreme anxiety, or it can change context dependent. It can change on the time of day or the setting that you're in. But some people can have really, really extreme anxiety, which can be quite debilitating and stop them from doing things or prevent them from living in a particular way. But what I want to share with you today, um, what I notice professionally from the people that I work with and actually from the professional training that I did many years ago is that there tends to be a lot of underlying feelings that have happened in the past that can trigger present anxiety. Now these feelings can go back a long, long time, but we don't tend to be consciously aware of these things, these feelings and emotions that can be triggering and contributing to the anxiety that we feel presently. A lot of people can also think back when they find that root cause, that trigger, that actually as an adult self in their current age, they don't see what was happening then as an issue now in the present moment. But the feeling that was felt back then, because there was an intense, emotional, significant experience, that can actually lay down a seed or a layer of emotion which leaves the person feeling on edge. So this could be a feeling that happened in the past which was quite extreme, quite unpleasant, something like embarrassment, something like feeling um, on edge, something like feeling out of your comfort zone, and then deeper things where feelings of things like guilt might come in or regret, lots of different feelings. It doesn't have to be all of them. It could just be one feeling that lays down this level, this kind of layer on a sponge. And then if we have more experiences, that emotion can get layered on and layered on. So when we're in the present moment and we're feeling anxious, it can really be from a feeling that's happened in the past. And a lot of people don't realize that because anxiety, which tends to be future based, when we're worrying or overthinking about things that are happening in the future, we don't really tend to relate it back to our past. But what can happen is from our experiences, we've learned to feel a particular way. We've learned from our experiences and those feelings and emotions become embedded within us on a neurological level. So when I'm working with people with anxiety, it can be around things like low self-esteem, low confidence, it can be feelings of guilt, it could be feelings of shame, regret, it could be feelings of anger or frustration. Any of those feelings, any one of those from the past can trigger feelings of anxiety in the present moment. And so when you're working with someone professionally, in particular using things like integral eye movement therapy to go back to those feelings to release and remove those feelings without having to sit there and actually talk about them in depth because we have a lot of fast interventions today that can help people release feelings. We can actually remove the feelings that are triggering the anxiety in the present moment. This really surprises a lot of people who don't know what's causing or triggering their anxiety. And you might be one of those people. Some people know what they get anxious over, but some people don't have any conscious awareness why they feel on edge, why they feel anxious. And most of the time, it's going back to past feelings. I just wanted to share that with you today, something for you to think about, but also a point that if you do work on past feelings, it doesn't have to be a long, 
process where you've got to relive the experiences, talk about them in depth because we have things like integral eye movement therapy, something that I use weekly with the people that I work with, which is a fast intervention to removing those trigger feelings that contribute to present anxiety.